Okay, hello grade 12. This is a question about the Doppler effect from November 2017. It says, a police car moving at a constant velocity with its siren on passes a stationary listener. The graph below, it's this one to the left, shows the changes in frequency of the sound of the siren detected by the listener. State the Doppler effect in words. So it says the Doppler effect is the change in frequency or pitch of the sound detected by a listener because the source and the listener have different velocities relative to the medium of sound propagation. Now the first part of the question says, write down the frequency of the sound detected by the listener as the police car one approaches the listener, two moves away from the listener. So I want you, you to look at the graph over here while I play you a siren. And I want we we must match the sound of the siren to the shape of the graph. So bear with me while I play this. Here is a high pitched sound. And as the siren comes towards the listener, the sound is high pitched, high pitched. And then as it moves away, the sound is low pitched. So did you hear that there was a very sudden drop in pitch as the siren moves past the listener. So this part of the graph is as the siren passes the listener and this first top part of the graph is as the siren approaches. It is a very high pitch and as the siren moves away it is a lower pitch because remember the velocity of the source is causing the sound waves to sort of push into each other and when sound waves are closer together they have a higher pitch on the approach and then as they move away the uh, uh, waves move further apart which sounds like a lower pitch to our ears. So the frequency as the car uh, approaches the listener if we read it off the graph here we can see it is 170 hertz okay and in the second part of the graph it is 130 hertz as it moves away from the listener so we figured out the two frequencies on the approach and on the moving away now it says calculate the speed of the police car take the speed of sound in air to be 340 meters per second so you can see here I've got this Doppler formula because I've not got a lot of space I'm not going to rewrite the Doppler, Doppler formula formula when I substitute but remember in the test you must always write out the formula now what do we know here we know that the police car is moving at a constant velocity this is the velocity of the source with its siren on passes a stationary listener so this is the velocity of the listener it is going to be zero because they are stationary okay so we know as it moves uh, closer to the listener the frequency that the listener hears is 170 Hertz here and again the frequency that the listener hears is 130 Hertz but we do not actually know what is the frequency of the source we know it's got to be somewhere around these two frequencies but we don't know what it is and we also don't know what is the velocity of the source. These are our two unknowns. So the moment we have two unknowns, we have to make a simultaneous equation. So I'm going to substitute into this formula here. I'm not going to write the formula because of space, but I'm going to substitute into the formula here. So for the approach, we know the frequency that the listener has from the graph is 170 Hertz, okay? The velocity, of uh, sound in air which is the medium of sound propagation is given here in the question as 340 so this will be 340 plus the listener is stationary so their velocity is zero okay and now we are um, trying to make a fraction that is top heavy here so we are going to take the velocity of the medium and on the bottom we are going to subtract the velocity of the source because this is what is going to give us a larger number because you realize that the frequency of the source must lie somewhere in the middle of these two values we're not 100% sure what it is but it's going to lie in the middle of those two values because we hear a higher pitched on approach and a lower pitched going away but we don't actually know what it is so to get 170, the frequency of the source must be multiplied by a bigger number, which is what we're creating in these brackets on the approach. 
then as the siren moves away the frequency drops to 130 okay the sound propagation medium is still 340 okay but here we're going to subtract zero of course subtracting zero makes no difference but here we're going to subtract zero because we wanted now to have a fraction that is a normal ordinary fraction that is got a smaller top than the bottom and on the bottom here we are going to add 340 plus the velocity of the source so I now have two equations this is equation one and this is equation two and I must solve them so I'm trying to find the velocity of the source so if I can make this equation equal the frequency of the source I can make equation one equal equation two so if I want the frequency of the source I'm going to say it's 170 I'm doing algebra here across the equation 170 times 340 minus Vs remember 340 plus 0 is 340 okay this is going to be equal to the frequency of the source and over here I'm going to say 130 times 340 plus the velocity of the source over 340 minus 0 which is 340 is going to be equal to the frequency of the source I now have two equations that equal the um, frequency of the source so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to draft this pen I'm going to um, make the equations equal to each other over here but can you see here they are both being divided by 340 over here so if they're both being divided by 340 when I make my answer I can just um, uh, get rid of the 340 because if I'm dividing the left hand side by 340 it's the same as dividing the right hand at, and if I'm dividing the left hand side and the right hand side by 340 it comes out to the same thing at the end of the day so I'm just going to immediately get rid of that 340 on the denominator okay and now to solve this I'm going to go I'm going to take this 130 over here so I'm going to say 170 over 130 by the way if you get these two equations correct you've actually got most of the marks because the part where you actually have to do the complicated maths to solve it is not worth that many marks so just make sure your equations are correct here so if we do this 340 minus Vs this will now be equal to 340 plus Vs okay so if you divide 170 by 130 and you um, distribute it into the brackets remember using the distributive property you end up with something like um, 4445 okay minus 1,308 Vs equals 340 plus the velocity of the source so then by algebra I'm going to take that 1,308 over to the other side I'm going to get 1, 1,1 Vs remember this is 1 Vs plus 1,308 gives me 2,308 Vs and then I need to subtract 340 on the other side so 444,615 minus 340 you end up with 104,615 equals 2,308 velocity of the source and then by inverse operations I divide both by 2,308 and I end up with the velocity of the source is something like 45,327 meters per second there we go and we have solved it but remember set out your simultaneous equation properly write the formula for both of the equations I just didn't do it because I didn't have space and then you'll be fine